Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem from chapter 13. It says that using a fork rod, a 0.5 kg smooth pack P is supposed to move along the vertical slotted path. And the path is defined by R as a function of theta. So R is equal to 0 0.5 theta in meters, where theta is in radians. If the angular position of the arm is given by this theta as a function of time, where t is in seconds, determine the force of the rod on the peg and the normal force of the slot on the peg at the instant t equals to 2 seconds. The peg is in contact with only one edge of the rod and slot at any instant. Now we have to find the force applied by the rod and the normal force of the slot. So the normal force, remember that the normal force always acts perpendicular to the tangent drawn to the path at that particular point or at that particular instant where uh, we are analyzing the motion. So first of all, I will draw the tangent line at this particular point. So this will be the tangent to the path and we need to define our radial and theta direction since we are going to solve this particular problem by using the cylinder, cylindrical coordinates and we are, as we are given the path as a function of uh, r of theta. So now let's see that uh, this is my radial axis that is acting away from the center of the path. So this is my radial axis and theta axis is, is in the direction of the increasing theta. So this will be our positive theta direction. So now the force that the fork applies on the peg is act, should be acting in the positive theta direction. So let's say this is the force which is required and similarly the normal force need to be acting perpendicular to this tangent line. So let's say that this is that normal force which is acting perpendicular to that tangent. So this is that tangent, this green one. And this is the normal force which is required. And since this peg is moving in the vertical slot, so its weight will be acting vertically downward. So let me draw that weight as well. So that weight will be acting in the downward direction. So we will have that weight like this. And the weight is 0.5 times 9.81. So this is that weight. And as we know that the angle between the tangent and the radial direction is represented by psi. So this angle is psi or this angle is psi. And we can find that psi angle that the tangent makes with the radial axis. So as we know from theory that tan psi is equal to r divided by dr by d theta. And if we take tan inverse then we will be able to find that angle psi. So this is tan inverse of this ratio. So we want to find the psi when t is equal to 2 seconds. So as we know that we are given that r is equal to 0 0.5 theta. So to find the r that r when t equals 2 seconds we have to find theta first. Or I can substitute that theta as we know that theta is equal to pi divided by 8 t square. So then theta at 2 seconds is pi divided by 8 into 2 to the power 2. So this gives us 4 and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So theta is pi divided by 2 when t is equal to 2 seconds. So now the radius is 0 0.5 into pi divided by 2. So now we can find the psi then psi will be equal to 10 inverse and the radius is 0 0.5 into pi divided by 2 meters and and we need to find this dr by d theta, right? So this dr by d theta gives us 0 0.5. So dr by d theta is 0 0.5. So we can write it as 0 0.5. So this will cancel out and we will be able to find psi if we take 10 inverse pi by 2. 
so 10 inverse pi divided by 2 so this gives us that angle of the tangent with the radial direction is 57.51 so that psi is 57.51 and since we get the positive signs this psi is made in the counterclockwise direction so this is the that psi this the, this psi is the angle between the tangent and the radial direction so i have drawn this i have mentioned this psi in the wrong manner this is that psi right so the angle of the uh, r direction with the tangent is always psi right remember so this is that psi and this is in the counterclockwise direction now we can uh, resolve this n into its components if we find its angle with either the r axis or with the theta axis so now this n is perpendicular to this tangent line and this theta is perpendicular to this radial axis so this means that if the angle between the tangent and the radial axis is psi then the angle between normal and the theta axis is also psi so this is that psi as well now we know the angle of n with the theta axis is, so we can resolve this n into its components so it will have two components one of its component will be acting in the in the positive theta direction so this is the component of n like this this is n cos of psi and that n will have one another component which will be acting in the negative r direction this one is the sine component so now if we apply the summation of forces along the theta direction so this will be equal to m a theta and as we can see that along the theta direction we have this f f force this black one and this cos component of that f of that n right so we can write that plus f plus n cos of psi this component is the cos component of that n so this is equal to mass so the mass is 0.5 and a theta so we can find a theta using this equa equation so we will find it a bit later Similarly, if I apply the summation of forces along the radial direction, so this will be equal to m a r and as we can see that in the negative r we have the sine component of n. So we can write that this is minus n sine of psi and the weight is also acting in the negative r so we will write minus w and this is equal to 0 0.5 a r and w is 0 0.5 into 9.81 so we need to find this a theta and this ar using this kinematics equation so we will find it so for that we need to find our double dot and theta dot and this r double dot is the double derivative of that r with respect to time right so as we know that that r is given is 0 0.5 theta and we can write it as 0 0.5 and theta equals to pi divided by 8 t square so now if i take first derivative of this so this is with respect to time so this is 0 0.5 pi divided by 8 and this will be 2 t and similarly this 2 if we divide this 8 by 2 so we will get 4 so 0 0.5 pi divided by 4 into t and if we take one another derivative or double dot so this is 0 0.5 pi divided by 4 so since we want to find uh, this uh, r or dot and r double dot when t equals to 2 seconds so we have to substitute t equals to 2 in these equations so in, when i put t equals to 2 so we will we can find it this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into pi into 2 square so 2 square is 4 divided by 8 this gives me 0 0.785 0 0.785 meters similarly we can put t equals to 2 in this equation as well so that will be our dot so this is 0 0.5 pi divided by 4 and t is 2 so 
So this gives us 0 0.785 as well. So this is 0. Point and this is meter per second. Similarly, we can find this directly. There is no T involved. So this is 0 0.5 pi divided by 4. So this gives us 0 0.393, 0 0.393 meter per second square. Now we need to find uh, theta and theta double dot as well. So theta equals to pi divided by 8 t square. So theta dot is d theta by dt. So this will become 2 pi divided by 8 t. And similarly theta double dot will be 2 pi divided by 8. And now if you want to find this uh, theta dot at t equals to 2, so this be this will be equal to 2 pi divided by 4. Uh, we can say that this is 2 pi divided by 4 or we can say that it is pi divided by 2. So this is 1.571. So this is 1.571 radian per second. Similarly, this is 2 pi divided by 8 or we can say it is pi divided by 4. So pi divided by 4 and this gives us 0 0.785 0 0.785 radian per second square now we can find that ar so ar is let me write it here ar is r double dot from this equation so r double dot value is 0 0.393 minus r into theta dot square so r is 0 0.785 and theta dot is 1.571 so 1.571 square so ar is 0 0.393 minus 0 0.785 into 1.571 So AR is minus 1.544. So AR is minus 1.544 meter per second square. Similarly, we can find a theta using that equation. So again, a theta is equal to R theta double dot. So R is 0 0.785 meters. And theta double dot is 0.785. plus 2 into r dot r dot is 0.785 and theta dot so theta dot is 1.571 so this will become 0 0.785 square so 0 0.785 squared plus 2 into 0 0.785 into 1.571 1.571 so this gives me 3.08 so a theta is 3.08 meter per second square now the a theta is 3.08 meter per second square and that the direction of a theta is in the positive theta direction and the direction of ar is in the negative radial direction so ar is acting downwards so this is ar now we can put those values in these two equations so a theta let me write that first i need to put ar in this equation so we can write it minus n sine of psi and psi is 57.51 and this will be equal to if i bring this to the other side so this will be 0 0.5 into ar and ar is minus 1.544 plus that weight so 0 0.5 into 9.81 and if we divide both side of equation by minus sine of that psi which is 57.51 so this will give me that normal force which the slot applies on this peg p so this is 0 0.5 into minus 1.544 
plus 0 0.5 into 9.81 divided by minus sine of 57.41 so the n comes out to be minus 4.905 n is minus 4.905 newtons and the negative sign means that the assumed direction of the normal force is not accurate we have to reverse the direction so the actual normal force is acting in the opposite direction like this so now we can put this n value in this equation one so we will be able to find that force f so now from this equation we can say that f is equal to 0 0.5 a theta and a theta is 3.08 and when we bring this to the other side so we will have it in minus negative and n is minus 4.905 cause of that psi which is 57.51 so now we can find it using calculator so this is 0 0.5 into 3.08 and this minus into minus is plus 4.905 into cause of 57.51 so this gives us force f equals to 4.175 4 4.175 newtons so this is that force f which the rod applies on the peg and this is that normal force of the slot on the peg when t equals to 2 seconds.